This week's surprise announcement that Poland would purchase 96 AH-64E Apache helicopters headlined the 30th annual International Defense Industry Exhibition, but it was far from the only deal announced during the conference. All told, Warsaw already in the midst of a massive military modernization push dropped $1.4 billion in contract announcements, even without a final likely hefty price available in the Apache deal. This week's announcements continue a major spending splurge for Warsaw in the wake of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. In late July, Poland inked a trio of agreements with South Korea that add up to a roughly $14.5 billion investment in new capabilities, covering the purchase of 1,000 K-2 tanks, 672 K-9 self-propelled howitzers, and 48 F-A-50 light combat aircraft. And in May, Poland moved forward with investing in both new HIMARS and Patriot capabilities. The Apache deal served as the biggest surprise when Poland's Prime Minister Mateusz Morawiecki paid an unexpected visit at Kiel's on the third day of AMSPO, media began speculating that he would announce the purchase of new attack helicopter under the Krupp program, an effort that had been expected to cover 32 rotorcraft. Instead, the news came from Poland's Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of National Defense Marius Blaszczak, who was in Germany to meet with the Ukraine contact group led by U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin. An Apache selection strengthens U.S.-Polish military ties by enhancing interoperability and cooperation between Poland, the U.S. Army, and NATO nations. Earlier this year, Poland signed an agreement to procure 250 Abrams M102 set version three main battle tanks from the U.S. In the latest meeting, Blaszczak and Austin also discussed their collaboration with regard to the presence of U.S. troops in Poland and further activities to support the armed forces of Ukraine including training. Blastak said, The situation is that the Ukrainian army has launched a counteroffensive and is moving forward. Simply put, it is a long process and requires the support of the free world. After Russia's aggression against Ukraine as an expression of our solidarity with that country, we provide free military aid from the resources of the armed forces of the Republic of Poland.